In this video we will create shop drawings using Panels Plus. All of the panels have been imported and designed. And all of the dimensions have been added using the automatic dimensioning feature. To create the shop drawing we must first load the shop drawing template into Panels Plus. This is done in the template editor. We navigate to where the DWG file is located and the CAD background is loaded into our template editor. This can't be further edited in Panels Plus and all changes to the template must be made in AutoCAD beforehand. Firstly we define our docking point. This is where the panel centroid will be located. Next we start by filling in our template title block. In the properties list there's a range of properties that we can add to our shop drawing. We simply left click, drag and drop the property to the relevant location in the shop drawing. The text by default will automatically be aligned to the left of this red circle. This can be changed to the center and to the right. The font size can also be increased. And in a similar manner, we continue filling in the title block. If I make a mistake, I can select the property and delete it by pressing delete on the keyboard. If I put tags in the wrong place, I can simply drag and drop them into the correct spot. I'm not worried that the text is overlapping at these points because I know that when it's filled in there will only be one number here. So with the shop drawing populated I save the drawing to the new .tme format and set it as the current background. Pressing OK we go back to Panels Plus and we show the template background. So as we can see the panel centroid has been put where the docking point was and all the relevant values are calculated. We can see here for the date the text is going outside of the area defined by the shop drawing template. To fix this we go back into the template editor. We select the date. We could either move it to a different location or we could reduce the font size. We save, press OK if we turn on the template again, we can see that it is now within the bounds of the shop drawing. If we navigate to another panel, we can see that the values that are calculated are different. We now have the choice of exporting panels individually to DXF using the export to DXF button or file export export one panel or we have the option of going into the elevation view and exporting the entire elevation in one go
but navigating to where the drawing was exported we can open them up in AutoCAD and edit them further if required. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.